Not me. Okay, here we go. I was like, just not me. Let's see what you've written for today. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Yuri stares at the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? No, it's shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> this one might even be better than yesterday's. No, that's a lie. Oh, uh, yeah, you're just saying that. How did you even pick this up so quickly? Also a lie. <laughs> just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Oh shit. <laughs> Even her hand appears sweaty. Knees weak. weak. <laughs> Fuck! Mom, mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. Mom's spaghetti. I'm not used to this level of crap. <laughs> used to what? I don't know. It's fine. Take your time. Yuri breathes and collects her thoughts. I know that Yuri likes to think before she speaks, so I offer that patience to her. You know, if you keep monologuing, I can't get my thoughts together. <laughs> Sorry. Just being appreciated like this, I, I guess, I don't, I don't really fucking know. It probably sounds really stupid. But seeing someone so motivated by my writing, it just, it makes me really happy. <laughs> I had to puke that word out. <laughs> Are you saying you've never shared your writing before? Yuri nods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really? I don't believe it. I really only write for myself. You know, doujins and stuff. <laughs> and besides, people would just laugh at me. Do you really think that? Again, Yuri nods. Mm -hmm. Huh. Even your close friends? Yuri doesn't respond to that. I wonder why. Anyway, do you want to share the poem you wrote today? Yeah. I do. If it's all right with you. Jesus Christ. Oh God, what is that handwriting? The cane. Oh wait. <laughs> it's the cane! <laughs> Come out at night. <laughs> what the hell are you supposed to be, kid? <laughs> I am the king. They mostly come out at night. Yeah, well, just mostly. Mostly. <laughs> the raccoon it happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttling of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time. I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary human. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious, well aware of the consequences, well aware that a raccoon is f that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. <laughs> oh shit! The bread, my hungry curiosity. The raccoon, an image. What is that? An urge. 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 Yeah. I can't. I told you. I fucking can't read it. It's fucking cursive. No one knows cursive anymore. It's Japanese cursive. I can't read moon runes. <laughs> the moon increments its phase and reflects that much more light off my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps. God damn it, Kevin. Sorry, I can't scroll down. <laughs> I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. A rush of blood. Classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread. And I feed myself again. Did she get off by eating and uh, shit? Is the raccoon me? <laughs> <laughs> so you're like a black and white thing going on here? I am, am I... Is she like leading me on to kill me or something like that? <laughs> I think she's going to kill what somebody. What is going on? Oh my god. Like if you read between the lines, this is some dark shit. Um, I 
was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. Am I going to die? <laughs> it's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poem as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the way it feels for me to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. Killing raccoons? Uh, we picked the crazy bitch, didn't we? <laughs> I think you did. I think <laughs> they're all crazy, oh, to be shit. honest. <laughs> well, all women are crazy. Oh, shit. You never put your dick in crazy. <laughs> <laughs> never put the foot. Never put. Never give. Oh. Never promise crazy a baby. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Jesus. It's those sorts of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So sometimes I enjoy writing about them. Why do you keep them to yourself? You just read my poem. Why the fuck do you think? Because they're embarrassing. And people would make fun of me. Because I really like feeding the raccoon that's by my house. <laughs> do you have anything like that, Wife's G? That's well, you. Yeah, I guess I do. I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individualities. Even if it's difficult. Sometimes, Monica, I fucking hate you, you stupid bitch. And some things make what us uncomfortable. <laughs> After all, I had learned to embrace my own weirdness. I, I would probably hate myself. I do. I, I, I mean, I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad you're a good listener. <laughs> you're good at a lot of things. Writing, listening. Feed me chocolate. <laughs> there, there really aren't many people like you, Wife's G, being a good friend. That, that's exaggerating it a little bit. Friend. It's just friend. how I feel, my best friend, good friend, friend. Yuri, befriend, human. <laughs> I, I never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing. But now I almost feel like I look forward to sharing it with my friend. Friend. Friend! <laughs> it's just a really nice feeling. And you're to thank for that. It's... it's nothing, really. Yuri smiles sincerely at me. For friend. just a moment, her timidness seems to disappear. Brandishing the knife in oh, her hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna forget myself with you. Oh, fuck no. Well, I guess Batman's coming out of retirement. Hi, Christian Bale. <sighs> well, I can't admit that it's better than the last one. <laughs> and nice to see that you're putting it to effort. That's you. That's good. But I still don't like this at all. It's trying too hard to be serious. Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, I don't need to be a deep sounding to express something. It's going to just sound like a fussy unless you really don't want to suck at it. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on your level. Natsuki stopped short all of a sudden. Don't tell me. Huh? You're not, you're not trying to press your are you? What are you talking about? Keep your voice down. No, 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 you like this kind of thing, Jason. Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean... Uh, I mean... Uh, <clears throat> looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. I'm so done with you. Natsuki shoves Women a poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid phone. If you wrote it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step into my business. Girl. Girl. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I, I was the, a mind reader. Time to figure it out. Dress. Time to find I'm out what dick tastes like. <laughs> With oh. that dick of yours, would you make me feel like a real girl? 
Am I a pretty girl? <laughs> it puts the lotion on its skin. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Natsuki wasn't a real girl. Wait. <laughs> okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> do we really have to do something for the festival? <laughs> it's not like we could put anything together in just a few days. We'll just stop end up embarrassing ourselves. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Instead of getting any new members. Uh, Fuck! Would you please keep it down? Not <laughs> <laughs> Except the spot. The spot's spot's just one. like convulsing over there. <laughs> <laughs> I could be dying. Can, can you keep it down? Can you die outside, please? Thank well, you. I'll call the ambulance for you. Give me just a minute. Okay. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori's been working on posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. <clears throat> but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? Oh. What the fuck, bitch? <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a poetry performance. Each of us are gonna choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Sayori's so putting in on uh, all the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Yeah, yeah. Fucking shit. Sayori, so who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. It's just a bunch of dicks. <laughs> Come to Dick Club. <laughs> you did it. You didn't have any study putting those posters up, did you? Eh? Well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I did it time for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to drive in front of good people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never, in my life, do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. <laughs> no, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So, great. I'm sorry. Fucking great. <sighs> but I still think we should give it our best we're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club if we start the event and each put on a good performance then it will inspire others she's to poking do my the eye. same she's poking me in the eye <laughs> God, just stop it you bitch. and the more people who perform the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about yeah it's about spreading your feelings Playing into me with yourself. Whoa, well, hey. <laughs> Finding new horizons and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? Not the trap. Look, she's pissed. To yeah, she's she's pissed. still poking her fucking eye. <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> ah! pissed. To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. <sighs> no, it's just you and the stupid fish bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. God damn it. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Maybe. It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, bye. I guess I just have to get over it. <sighs> Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? <sighs> Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. I guess I really don't have a choice. 
Fucking good. Joking, not joking. Somebody needs to die. Gosh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, 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 no way. Monica, this is too sudden. You stupid bitch. God damn it. <laughs> well, if you can't recite your poems in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? I don't. <laughs> oh. Oh. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. <laughs> of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <clears throat> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply her emotion based behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayuri looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the recitation. The four of us applaud. I don't. <laughs> Monica takes a breath and smiles. Yeah, that was so good, Monica! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? Uh, I'll go next. Yeah, you! You inspired up all of it! Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. It's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. I don't need no man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a strong ass woman. Down with the patriarchy. <laughs> The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality. Oop, there goes gravity. And glances around her <laughs> as if she bewildered herself. I... It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. I don't. Everyone joins me afterward. Bullshit. We give Yuri the recognition she deserves. Nope. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. We really didn't want to applaud for her. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. That wasn't your line, Kevin. Oh, wait, was that a Yuri line? Yes, that oh, was fuck. a Yuri line. fuck, I thought it was Monaco still going, hmm. No, it's just you being fucking all about Kevin. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Looks like Yuri is down for the count. You okay! Oh, no. I got the next one! Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. Here's a call, my man! Is it full of yeah. dead kittens, too? Yeah! Sorry, I giggled. Yeah, I peed a little. <laughs> Sayori... <laughs> It's a lot harder than I said, huh? How you can do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of it like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow, it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly <laughs> cheery voice. like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. Yeah, that's not her voice yeah. at all. <laughs> that's a very annoying but well, Nobody wants to listen to that shit. <laughs> if I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew th what? through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. Uh -huh. Yay! Good job, Sayori. Yeah! 
I get to get to. What does that even mean? Why are you so it retarded? Means shut up, God damn it! <laughs> it came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. I don't really understand. I know you don't really understand anything, do you? There's nothing in my head. In but other words, webs and a little ball about you. And dead kittens. <laughs> in other words, I've seen poems of yours Ugh, where that sort of gentle <laughs> delivery wouldn't work as well. <laughs> they might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That well, that implies it's in that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> then next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. Fuck off! We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay! Now, who's next? You mean who's last? Natsuki? <clears throat> don't make me go before my team. It's not like... <coughs> oh, fuck, the Batman voice is killing me! <laughs> <laughs> it's not like... I compare to you guys anyway. Might as well have life G's lower. Everyone else's standard is a little damp Damn, before bro. I have to do it. That's S fucked. Fucking settle down your fire there, <laughs> Jesus. I'm good. Natsuki! It's fine, it's fine. I might as well get it over with. Sounds like she, the trap's dying first. But it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Gay! <laughs> <laughs> Gay! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that'll improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. How these people are fucking nice? All right then. They're girls. That just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down. God damn it. <laughs> Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem is called. It's called. Why are you looking at me? Because you're presenting. <clears throat> and it's about jump. Is it written by Sammy Hagar? No. no. Natsuki takes a breath. When she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. <laughs> a little! <laughs> <laughs> While she's still a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. Rhythm and rhyme! So she's rapping? It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving life to the poem. Natsuki finishes, and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Hey, what are you to say? You better not make me do that again. Uh, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. Really, now? <laughs> really? Oh my. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. Oh, so you're a fake bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> but when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. I think it would be the other way around for me! Well, that's just how it goes, though. Well, if guess in that case, you won't have much to worry about for the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that y'all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice, though, before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should just probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. <laughs> it makes me really happy. Uh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. Yeah, same here. Fuck. <laughs> I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. Next okay. week! I can do this. I can do this. Mark, I hate you. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. 
Ready to go, Sayori? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Whoops. Yep! <laughs> there you go. It's going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, well, you don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up, let's go. Woo! Oh man, that's a lot of voice acting, holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Man, is this how voice actors feel? No. Well, I guess they Because they get paid. Yeah, they get takes and stuff like that, too. Yeah. Jesus well, Christ. They get training and we stuff. We just did this for an hour straight. Oh, my God. Okay, kill this game. Next one. Ugh. We'll be back for next time. Why do you always have to say next time? Why don't you just end yeah, it? Yeah, why do you always say next time? Just be like, yo, we're done. Just fucking end it Why are you preparing? Stop preparing and go. <laughs> <laughs> so you might want to sit down. <laughs>